Hi Cancer, welcome to your Love Connection reading for the second half of September. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome. If you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. And I do ask that you please check the description box below for any and all information that you need about me, personal readings, decks I'm using, social media, tons and tons of information there. So please do check that out. Thank you to all my new subscribers. Thank you who those who have reached out for personal readings. Those who have blessed me with an energy exchange as in a tip or donation to the channel is very much appreciated. All your support really means a lot to me and I couldn't do it without you guys. And I truly love to do it for you guys. So any support you give the channel to help it grow and flourish is truly, truly appreciated. So thank you, thank you so much for help, helping me to get the messages out to those who need to hear them. So thank you, thank you. Okay. Cancer, second half of September already. Going into fall. I love spring. I love fall. Summer and winter, not too much, but it is what it is. So I hope everybody's doing well. Let's see what's going on in love for Cancer. Second half of September. Okay, Zodiac Oracle here. If you don't resonate with what comes out here, that's totally fine. Rest of the message may be for you. Since you clicked on the title, there could be something in here for you. Okay, so we have Libra. So some Cancerians may be dealing with a Libra. If not, it's totally fine. Um, maybe they do have Libra in their chart somewhere, if you do know their chart. If not, then that's totally fine, like I said. So rest of the meeting, rest of the reading, <laughs> meeting at, I don't know where that came from. Maybe for you, maybe you're just meeting this person, maybe, I don't know. Okay. Let's see what's going on with you, Cancer. First thing we'll do is we'll get an overall love energy, love connection energy. Then one card for you, one card for your person, how you are feeling about each other, how you are feeling about the connection. So let's get a love connection energy first for Cancer. I think that one. Achievement. Keep focused on your dream. One in seven is eight, and that is about movement, action, travel. And I had just said meeting. Wow. So keep focused on your dream, achievement. So maybe, you know, it's coming together now for you, and there's a sense of achievement in this connection, and maybe you will be, um, your dream is to meet up and get things going with this person. And now you feel like it's all starting to come into fruition, meeting up with this person and just focusing on uh, that dream achievement. So that's a good sign. All right. So I notice here, Libra, you're seven and this is 17. So seven is a very divinely guided number. So let's get one for you, one for your person. And then we'll do bottom of the deck energy. So how are you feeling? Oh, about this connection in your person. You're feeling peace. Dissolving unwanted or disturbing thoughts. Six and two. Eight again. Repeating eight here about travel, action, communication. Maybe traveling to see one another. Feeling very peaceful. And you see the sun energy here, which is about happiness, joy, contentment in every way possible. So you're feeling very at peace and happy and content about this person and where this is going. You're finally feeling like Libra is justice. You just had justice come out in your general reading in a big way. And now Libra is justice in the tarot. So it could be just now you're feeling like the scales are finally balancing in this relationship. So let's see how your person is feeling. Remembrance, resurfacing of past feelings and emotions. 21 is three. So, Hmm. So, and then, you know, three is about socializing and coming together and uh, teamwork, working together. So I don't know if there was a time apart, if you were together, then you were apart and maybe they're remembering how they, you know, once felt about you, maybe you ran into one another. That could have been the meeting. Maybe you ran up and ran into one another and like they had remembrance of how they once felt with you and all those resurfacing feelings came back up. Hmm. 
and maybe you're remembering how much of a peaceful energy it was being with them. I don't know if it was, if it was such a good energy. I don't know why uh, things might have got separated, if that's what happened. All right, so on the bottom of the deck, wow, liberation, breaking free from a negative attachment. Okay, 25 here, we have seven. Again, divinely guided number. Libra, your, uh, the Lib card, number on Libra is seven. 17 has seven in it. Seven here, liberation, breaking free from a negative attachment. So, so either you or them here had to break free from some sort of negative energy here. So, I don't know how that plays out, if it's you or them. Just seeing what, okay, they're telling me, nope, nope, just this one, okay. So, yeah, and you see the white dove there, which is about peace, harmony, balance. So, being liberated and being at peace. So, maybe it was you, because you did have a uh, Libra come out. Maybe you had to leave a situation here. You know, maybe this was a, I hate to say, a third party situation for some of you. And um, maybe that's why there was a detachment for a while. And, you know, keep focus. Maybe they never forgot about you. Their dream was always to be with you. With eight, about taking action, travel, communication, they couldn't really do that until you released this energy. But now, you know, you're feeling uh, at peace here. Liberation. So it's either you or them. One of you, I feel, had to leave something that was not in a good space. And now it's like coming back together with somebody that... Uh, you were maybe once in a relationship with before. I don't know. We'll see what the tower has to say. New cancer and this love connection energy. Why does cancer have peace? Why does cancer have peace for this love connection? Spirit, please. Last half of September. We get a card for cancer, please. Thank you so much. It's one for you. And let's get one for your person. All right, well, <laughs> you, I could see it right away, have the lovers. So you feel here, this is soulmate energy, two people coming together as one in a loving union. This can be Gemini energy. So, and here's Archangel um, Gabriel bringing the soulmates together. So maybe this chance, it's like they... They uh, orchestrated this chance meeting between the two of you to bring you back together. Because I had said meeting in the beginning and I had no idea where that came from. So maybe they orchestrated this chance meeting between the two of you that rekindled this between you of the lover's energy. Wow. And now, here are you, here, there you are, Cancer, with the chariot energy in their energy. So they're wanting to move forward with you. They're wanting a more peaceful, balanced energy to move forward quickly here. And this also speaks of travel again, but they want this victory with you. That's moving forward very um, determined, passionately, uh, successfully, balanced. Wow. Two major arcana I just noticed. So we have seven again with the chariot. Six is about, you know, six is a very healing, balanced number. And then you got seven, which is a very divinely guided number. Seven, seven, a lot of sevens here. Very divinely guided, I feel, soulmate connection here, bringing you back together. It's like the justice card here, the divine, making this chance of meeting happen to bring you back together because you're supposed to be together. All right, so... Let's get a couple of clarifiers. Wow. So <laughs> there you are, Cancer, Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So definitely having lo cups, love, emotions, feelings. Um, definitely having love, emotions, and feelings for this person. I'm feeling like deep, deep rooted love connection here. And they're feeling it too with strength. 
This can be Leo energy, but just talks of very strong feelings, emotions, inner strength and wisdom, being uh, having courage and bravery, willpower to tame the beast, also to hold back when need be, move forward when you know you need to, hold back when you know you need to. Wow. So let's see, very, very strong love, emotion, kindling of this, bringing the soulmates back together. It's like, <laughs> I just got here, divine saying, yep, they achieved what they wanted to achieve by balancing out the scales and bringing the two soulmates back together. <laughs> wow, that's a big message. So I have the Knight of Wands for the actual situation. Knight of Wands, we get two more. Wow. All right, so we have the Knight of Wands, that's fire energy, or it doesn't have to be, it can just be energy. And then we have your energy with cups here, water, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. And then we have the Fool here, which is Aquarius. So the actual situation is here, the Knight of Wands is moving forward. Again, it's sort of like the minor of the chariot in a way, moving forward with a lot of passion, drive, and ambition, taking action. You know, the Seven of Cups here can speak of um, daydreams, illusions, have, needing to make a choice, options. But in this deck here, it's the After Tarot. They've looked at all the options, and now they have chosen what they wanted. And that is taking a leap of faith. Here, trusting things will be fine. Take this deck here, it's the after, so they've already taken that leap. So the Knight of Wands is connected to you, so you really want to move things forward uh, in this connection, and the energy is here for that. And then their energy here also is, they've already committed themselves to taking this leap of faith with you, along with the chariot. Wow. <laughs> Fearlessly and fast and just jumping in and just whew, moving forward, feeling very strongly about you. They have all major arcana on their side. Wow. And then between the two of you is the Seven of Cups. Again, about, you know, decisions, options here. But in the after tarot here, he's already made his choice and decision. So I feel like you've already, you've already weighed out the pros and cons. You already looked at the situation and you've already decided, the both of you, the connective energy of choosing one another, taking the action forward, taking that leap of faith, very strong feelings, love, emotions, soulmate energy, moving forward fearlessly. And I feel like Divine is here to say, yep, we've accomplished and achieved what we wanted to accomplish. <laughs> wow. Wow. Okay. Alrighty. So let's get a few more clarifiers on the actual situation for you, Cancer. Well, there's the Ace of Pentacles and the Three of Pentacles. So again... Brand new beginning here, very stable, grounded, long-term, pentacles are long-term, slow, steady growth for the future, planning and committing to one another. Here's the uh, commitment here with the pentacle and building for your future. Brand new beginning, very stable, secure, and grounded energy there, earth energy. And then working together with more earth energy, three pentacles coming together, working together as a team, teamwork, collaboration, working hard and preparing and building for your future together. Making those plans together. Wow, for your brand new beginning. Wow, Cancer, moving forward very fast here. All right, so let's see. Let's see what your advice and guidance is. In this love connection and of September, what's the advice and guidance for Cancer? I have a few cards, Spirit, please. Thank you so much for Cancer. One, two. All right, what's the advice? So we have the Two of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles. So. Two of Pentacles can talk about, but this is the after tarot. So Two of Pentacles is about juggling things around, making decisions, feeling a little off kilter, a little off balance. 
But now you have the Ten of Pentacles. So, you know, the Two of Pentacles can just be more of that energy of planning and making decisions um, for your future, for your stability together. Because now we have the Ten of Pentacles. This is long-term commitment together. Could be marriage on the table here in the future, as you have the Pentacle here, which is like an offer. Ten of Pentacles is the home, uh, the family, the stability, the growth, coming together, sharing everything, assets, home, from the grandfather to the grandchildren, all the way down the line. Legacy. This is legacy of deep family legacy here. Wow. Building, building, long term for the future, commitment, love, emotions, stability, very strong, deep rooted soulmate feelings wow the divine if you're wondering if you had a chance if you ran into this person you hadn't seen them in a while and it was out of the blue and all those feelings maybe for you and them all started to resurface again and what it was like maybe being with this person before maybe you were very young um and you always felt that strong connection with them and you wondered why why did i run back into them why is this all starting up again it's because the divine had purpose here. Their goal and to was to have this achievement of bringing you two soulmates together. All right. And it's like justice has been served. They've achieved what they wanted to achieve with the Libra energy there of justice. Outcome here. Hmm. I don't know. I don't like that. So I didn't really ask. Okay, so spirit. Don't like to take anything until I fully ask. What is the possible outcome here for cancer? The second half of September. What is the possible outcome here for this love connection for cancer? The second half of September, please. So we have the four of pentacles. So this is holding on to your stability, holding on to what you have, not letting go. You're not going to let go of this person. You're holding on for dear life here. Nothing can tear you apart. Nothing. Not even the Grim Reaper here or whatever this is. Um, you're going to hold on to each other for dear, li dear life no matter what comes between you. Not letting go this time. Absolutely not letting go of this person. And there's the emperor so aries energy so being in control charge taking the lead um here so either you were them i feel maybe you know i didn't get any clarifiers for your advice hmm okay so let me do that now because i like there's some cards missing so your advice is to was here to um, make wise decisions and building for the future and having long-term commitment with this person. All right, so what other clarifiers do we have for their advice? We have, okay, oh, wow, okay. Page of Wands. So, again, this is, you know, the passionate communication back and forth. Communicating plans moving forward, making the decisions and communicating. Very, very exciting, passionate, fiery energy. Making these plans and decisions moving forward um, kind of energy. Towards your happiness and joy and success here. And I had said this card here for you, Cancer. This first card is the sun energy and there is the sun energy. So there is the happy, contented Happy home and family, children, enlightenment, success, victory, growth, expansion. It's all here with the sun. Everything, everything, absolutely happy and positive with the sun. So that's your advice is to, you know, passionate interaction, communication with each other as you're making plans for the future towards your long-term commitment, ten of cup, legacy, energy. Wow. And not letting go of this person is the outcome. Not letting go. Standing up here, being in control, in charge. Standing up to whatever comes in the way here. Not backing down. And get one more for your outcome. You, them, both of you. Not backing down, being in control, in charge. Um... Uh, 
So then we have the Nine of Pentacles energy. This can talk of a single energy. So maybe you both are free and single right now kind of energy. So you, you are both free to now delve into this. But this is a very secure, stable, grounded energy. Being able to take care of yourself, stand on your own two feet. A lot of growth expansion also. This The Emperor is the Divine Masculine also. And this reminds me of the Empress which would be the divine feminine. So definitely could be a soulmate twin flame energy here. So let's see what's on the, and again, here is the angel, the judgment call of bringing these two soulmates together. Wow. Here's the last final judgment call, resurrecting what you thought was over and done here, resurrecting it from the past. Something from the past this is resurrection of the past. Bring it back up, bringing it back to light, coming back together, reuniting the soulmate twin flames. Wow. And there's the queen of pentacles. So, you know, being secure and grounded here. Uh, and this also does remind me of the empress energy, the nine in the queen of pentacles does in fact remind me of the empress energy of the divine feminine being, you know, Sure, stable, grounded, know your value, your worth, expansion, growth, smart. Eight of Cups energy here. So yeah, there could have been a period here. Eight of Cups talks about walking away, but you can always come back. So there, I, feel, I do feel like here there was a time here of separation, but you know, Cups are always still available and you can always turn around and come back. So I definitely feel like here, yep. She's like, she's looking at herself in the pentacle here. Saying, yep, I am the empress. <laughs> Waiting for my emperor. Wow. Wow, okay. So I feel, definitely feel like a reunion of soulmate twin flame. Resurrection from the past. Chance meeting brought you back together. And now you are free to uh, come back together with your soulmate twin flame. Wow. Cancer. And we have all the signs here. I mean, we do have Libra. And then we have uh, Gemini, Cancer, Leo, Leo, uh, Aries. Your energy there with the Queen of Cups. Aquarius. That's Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Leo, Sag, Aries. And then over here we have Scorpio, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Could be anybody. All right. So let's get some extra messages and guidance for you. Cancer. What else do we have for Cancer? Please, good. Okay. So we have nine here which is seek which i believe is the hang man i think no it's a hierophant no no <laughs> it's the hermit which is virgo we have 20 blossom which is judgment again wow so we have judgment twice here blossom and you see this fire energy two two which in the four of wands you see the two pillars and the two pillars which is Two, two, which is four, which is the twin flame number. So we have two, two here. Definitely twin flame energy here. Blossoming now. Judgment, resurrection, and now blossoming of this twin flame soulmate connection. Virgo energy here. So, you know, maybe you were never th forgot one another here. Um, always were on each other's mind. And maybe there was a period of time where you tried to seek each other out. But you just either couldn't find each other or uh, it just wasn't meant to be at the time here. So let me put double, wow, a lot of repeating cards. So anything else, cancer, anything else for cancer? What? The lovers again, oh my God. The lovers twice, judgment twice. Oh my God. Soulmate, I'm telling you, soulmate twin flame energy here. Wow. Lovers twice. 
Holy cow, Cancer. Holy cow, anything else? So we have heel here. This is star energy. I believe that's the star, I think. Yeah, so Aquarius energy here. So maybe, you, you know, this is having that faith, hope, and optimism. Dreams and wishes coming true. Um, remaining positive. Healing energy. Divinely guided energy. 17 again. So where do we have? We have two 17s here also. Which 17 is 8. So 8 and 8 would be 6, which would be 7. Oh my God. Divinely guided soulmate twin flame reunion here. Wow. Bringing the soulmate twin flames back together. Out of a, out of the blue chance meeting or something like that. Reach out here. So we have the three. I think this is the three of pentacles, I believe. So, you know, maybe there were times when you both wanted to reach out one another, but you didn't here. But now you're, you are reaching out to one another. Again, the three of pentacles, and we had that. Um, we had it over here. So another repeating card. Earth energy. So now reaching out one, one to, another, to one another and working together. So, yeah, wow. Wow. Cancer, divinely guided reunion, chance meeting, and now... The vine is saying, we've achieved our goal. We brought this twin flame soulmates back together. They've been freed and liberated from their past connections that were no longer serving them. And now they're building their future together. Wow, that's like a beautiful story, Cancer. Okay, Cancer, if this didn't resonate for you, you can um, check the description box below for plas uh, plast <laughs> past playlists. And um, maybe something that will resonate for you. I would say watch them anyway, regardless of the dates on them. I do consider them all timeless. And um, if you like my style and how I read, please do like, share, comment, subscribe. I love to read the comments. Hit the bell. You'll be notified of when I do readings. I do bi-weekly, general, and love. So don't miss out on that. So good luck to you here and building your future with your soulmate twin flame. And I'm sending you much light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, it's the sun energy here to always, always shine your light.